First, can you clarify us the current White House position towards the continuing resolution that's floating up on the Hill? Is it a demand for $1.6 billion in border wall funding, or is it supporting a continuing resolution to take this matter up after the after the Christmas break? You know, at this point, the Senate's thrown out a lot of ideas. Uh, we're disappointed in the fact that they've yet to actually vote on something and pass something. So when they do that, we'll make a determination on whether or not we're going to sign that. In the meantime, we're looking at every avenue available to us possible. The President's asked every one of his Cabinet Secretaries to look for funding that can be used uh, to protect our borders and for the give the President the ability to fulfill his constitutional obligation to protect the American people by having a secure border. So we're looking at the other options. In the meantime, we'll see what the Senate does, and we'll let you know when we have an announcement on that front. Uh, second second question. question. I'm going to, sorry, Sarah, I'm going to okay. keep moving just because we're tight on time. Go ahead, so sir. following up on that, there's other sources that could potentially pay for the wall. Which agencies are you looking at? You've mentioned yeah. DOD. As I said, we're looking at, we've, the President's asked every uh, agency to look and see if they have money that can be used for that purpose, and, and if, that's exactly what we're doing. And if they can find that money, does that mean the President would accept um, a budget a proposal that does not include any money to fund new border wall construction? Once money? again, we want to see what the Senate can pass. Uh, they've thrown out a lot of ideas. They've yet to take a vote. Once they do that, we're, we're disappointed in the process and their uh, inability to put something forward. Once they make a decision and they put something on the table, we'll make a determination on whether or not we'll move forward on either a short-term or long-term friend and business. With the deficit ballooning to over a trillion dollars under this president, where are the additional monies for this wall going to come from, and why is he asking the American taxpayer for them when he promised Mexico was going to pay? Look, we're not asking American taxpayers for that. Uh, we are looking at existing funding through other agencies right now that we can draw on to do that in immediate uh, immediately. So the president's been the clear. Deficit. The president has been clear that the USMCA deal would provide additional revenue through that deal that would show that Mexico is paying for Not the wall. The treasury, though, the, the the trade benefits, if there are any, don't don't go to the treasury. He's saying that the revenue provided and the money that would be saved through the USMCA deal, we could pay for the wall four times over. And by doing that new trade deal, we have the opportunity to pay for the wall. But trade benefits go to private citizens. Look, they don't go to the United States Treasury. About, he's talking about the general revenue that comes from that. So you're going to tax... No, we're not taxing. We're talking about additional revenue that wouldn't have existed without the president getting a new deal. Have you done the math on that? that, that, that the, there, are, there have been a number of things that we've looked at in which we know we'll have additional revenue that comes in through the USMCA. From the USMCA we think into we'll the have, Treasury? We think there will be more than that that comes in.